Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and welcome to part two of Magic TV's special coverage of the 24th annual St. Louis Pagan Picnic. We have many more fascinating interviews. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Uh, I run the Pinch of Pixie Dust. Uh, my stage name is Seraphina Spring Queen. We sell pixie dust, dragon's tears, wings, all your fairy needs. Lots of fun. Um, we started, thank you, we started last year, me and my friend Colleen Michelson. Um, we do recycle, we do recycles and donations. So all of our dresses are from thrift stores and things like that. Um, we travel around from different fairs. This is, uh, after this we'll be going to Sayu, that's in South Dakota. It is a long way, but we're really hoping it's going to do really good for us and it's going to be fun. We are based in O'Fallon, Missouri, so we're still a, a very small at home business. We do everything ourselves and there are, you know, there are some downs, but the highs are, the highs are seeing the kids and interacting with people and enjoying seeing their faces as they put on their costumes and that makes me really happy. Our costumes are, we try to make them as elaborate as possible, but also super durable because we're Rennies and we tear through costumes like nobody's business. <laughs> so, um, my uh, my partner Colleen, she clothed half of the uh, fae that you see here. And we thought, you know, let's make a business out of it because if time for fairs start paying us kind of thing. So, we just started and it's been taking off really well. People really love our outfits and what we do. <laughs> so we do that. Um, we also make uh, custom dresses so or custom outfits just in case for our gentlemen because we don't have a lot of male clothes. It's really it's kind of hard to find thrift stuff for them, but we are starting to. But we do do male and female. Um, and you have a lovely outfit today. Oh, thank you. I we love can, the flowers. Thank you. We can make as big as this costume, or we make as small as this dress. Very cool. Right. With wings attached to them. Everything that you would ever need as a fairy costume. Or nymph costume. Any costume that you would need, we can make. You can find us on uh, Facebook at A Pinch of Pixie Dust. Um, that's our page. Um, you can also find me at Caitlin Danelle Rothfeld. So you can find me there. Um, message us whatever kind of costumes you need, any kind of things you need. We're your gals. And have you ever been to the picnic before? I've been here as a visitor once, and that was many moons ago. So this is my actually first time very cool. doing Pagan. So I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Thank you very much. And thank you. Awesome. My name is Ansi Kesma Asuru. And um, you, ha you have lots of cool stuff here today. Thank you, thank you. I've got books, metaphysical books. I have incense um, and tarot decks today. And um, are you having a good weekend? Oh, it's a fantastic weekend. Very busy, lots of people coming around. You know, the atmosphere is good and the weather's fantastic. For many years, I had a metaphysical store here in St. Louis, um, in the U City Loop, actually next to the pageant. And um, I haven't had one for a while and just kind of decided to get back into it and get rid of some things I had accumulated over the years. So that's pretty much what brought me out here today. Wonderful. What did you notice most in the time that you were doing it that changed in the community? Uh, well, people were, and this was around the time when 9-11 um, had occurred, mm -hmm. so people started really sticking, trying to appear very patriarchal and sticking to a lot of the um, very traditional religions. Um, so things kind of clamped down spiritually, but now things are opening back up, especially with the internet, you know, and, and spirituality blowing up. So people are more receptive now. So that's really what I noticed. Uh, are you going to be appearing anywhere else in the near future? Well, I'm thinking about the Renaissance Fair that's coming up um, in the fall. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, and then there's one I heard called Redborn that I may look into as well, somewhere in Missouri. So I'm starting to hear about more festivals and maybe I'll start doing that. But, but it may be an ongoing thing in Soulard for me for a while. 
Very good. Now, in your, in your personal practice, mm -hmm. what, what do you think is most important spiritually? Well, to stay open and not be um, very rigid in your understanding and practice, being um, just kind of like the, the wind, kind of allow spirit to move you in the direction you need to go. Um, that's mainly it. Next year, I'm, I'm not sure what weekend it will be, but we'll be back out here. Wonderful. We look to forward you. to seeing you. Thank you, Fanny Reilly. Thank you. Hello. Hi. It's great to see you again. So glad you're here. And uh, we're, we're at the St. Louis picnic. And how many years has uh, Spirit's Edge been coming? This is our third year to have a booth, but it's our fourth year at picnic. So the first year we did opening and closing rituals, and then we've had our booth here ever since then, and it just keeps growing. Spirit's Edge, we're working on our 501c3. We're a nonprofit religious organization. And Spirit's Edge Shimonial Temple and Tradition, we have our own tradition. It's very eclectic. It takes magic and shamanism and puts them in the context of witchcraft. So we work with different pantheons and all of that, but we also have a lot of things that we do. We've got a five-year mystery school, a book club. Uh, we've got a healing group where we send out healing to the community. We're starting a grief circle and a prayer shawl service and a few other things. I can't remember right now. And some <laughs> ministerial offerings. So, yeah. Very good. And rituals. We are based in St. Louis, but we have a really strong online presence. So through our Spirits Edge Seeker Salon page on Facebook, we have probably about almost 650 members and folks from all over the world that participate with our Sabbath rituals online and some of the other work that we do. So it's a really good way to connect local people with people from different places and different perspectives. So. Very good. What do you find the most rewarding thing about the work that you do? That's when I get the huge energy rush. I mean, the most important thing is just to be of service. I mean, to do the work, to help people, to follow those synchronicities, and when they find us, to give them those clues and those breadcrumbs on their path and just help them along their way. Um, to help people who are having challenges, um, to give people a safe place to come where they can feel welcome and accepted and all of that. So it's all about that work, that service. You know, we offer a lot of free services for that reason because it's just so important. I mean, that's why we're here. I mean, that's why all this is about. It's about community. And I wrote an article, Spider and the Web of Community, for the Web of Life for the picnic program this year. And it really talks about that because it's all about the connections that we make and how each one of us are part of the whole and how we can help each other. And by improving ourselves and doing the work on ourselves first, that ripples out and helps everybody else too. So the biggest challenge is probably the fact that we want to do so much, but we can't do it all at the same time. So this year is a big year. I mean, we're launching about five different things. So each year we try to add something on and not get too ahead of ourselves because there are so many things that people need and so many ways that we can be a service. So we just kind of follow the direction of spirit and things just sort of fall into place at the right time if we go with that flow and don't have that attachment to what we think that we want. But listen to the clues of what it is that people really need and what services we should offer. I love the picnic because it's a great time to meet people. I mean, how often do we have a safe place to come together where there's so many different perspectives, there's so many free workshops with all sorts of amazing people that are so talented and people who don't even get out there and talk about their, their work. You know, they don't offer classes for pain or anything like that. But they come here, they give their time, and they have these booths, and then we have Authors Row. Um, and it's also another great thing is being able to connect with other organizations and other leaders in the community to see how we can work together to further the broader pagan community in the St. Louis region and kind of beyond. So just seeing people and the smiles and the way that you touch their lives and they touch your lives, like their individual stories when something happens. Um, I mean, it's just like it just brings those whole tears of love, so to speak, through. I mean, it just, it's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, we're on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff, but the quickest way to find us and links to everything is our website. So that's www.spiritsedge.org. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. 
Hey, hi, I'm Adriana. I'm with Jabberwock Emporium. Um, we have mostly upcycled crafts and then we have paintings that uh, that my husband does, so that's what you're going to see here. Very cool. Um, let's see. What do you uh, want to know about? <laughs> well, how about the pendants? Okay, so there's a, a couple different ones. The, I have these tree ones. Uh, I have some with beads. I have some that are more of a steampunk kind of look. And these are made with uh, wires that are upcycled from broken power cords. So we strip them down, take the, uh, the wiring out. The gears, like the gears for the bottom, are from usually from alarm clocks uh, that are broken, and the watch gears are, are obviously old watches. The beads are from jewelry that has been broken and left behind, and so that's what those are. The ones over here, um, I've got a couple different ones. I have the fairies uh, people like a lot, and if you, I don't know if you can see it on on that camera, but if you get in really close, there's actually little figures in there. Um, and the wings for the fairies are packaging. I use old packaging and, and create the wings out of that. The, and the wires that they're suspended from are again power cords, that kind of thing. Um, the wildflowers are all from Illinois and Wisconsin. We gather them and dry them. The shells are upcycled. So, so yeah, those are the pendants. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, how about how about the uh, the skulls? So the skulls we do magnets with, and then we have the little guy that's in a flower pot over there, which my which my son named ne Necrofolia. <laughs> um, those are made from paper clay, and we make that out of junk mail. So that is that is what we do with our junk mail at our house. That's very cool. Now, if people would like to to learn more about you and what you do, where would they go? Um, you know, any search on on Google for Jabberwock Emporium, anything you find is us. Very good. Uh, we do have a Facebook page that we're kind of slack about, but it's there. You know, um, and then we also sell on Etsy. We sell on eBay. We sell on um, Bonanza. So we're 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 sort of randomly all over the place. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that and that you'll join us again for part three of Magic TV's special coverage of the 24th annual St. Louis Pagan Picnic. And until then, may you blessed be.